Welcome back to the Weekly Wheel. I'm your host, Cole. On today's show, we have the Nintendo Switch sales prediction, a new Pokemon Let's Go trailer, and more sad news about PT. All this and more on this spin of the Weekly Wheel. First off, the Nintendo Switch is absolutely killing it in sales, and doesn't seem to be stopping anytime soon. In an industry report, analyst Matt Piscatella predicts that the Nintendo Switch will be the best-selling console this holiday season, outselling both Sony's PlayStation 4 and Microsoft's Xbox One. Piscatella attributes the Switch's predicted sales to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu releasing so close to others in November and December, but this is only a continuation of the Switch's amazing sales. In March of last year, the Switch came out swinging, launching on the same day as The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and continued pumping out hit after hit each month for the rest of the year, leading the Switch to be the fastest selling console in US history. And the Switch isn't slowing down either. Just last week saw the release of Octopath Traveler, which has been getting rave reviews, and later this summer we're seeing ports for Dark Souls Remastered and Okami HD coming to the Switch. Good news for the company who is struggling during the last console generation. For this week's game highlight, we're starting off with some Pokemon Let's Go trailers. First up is the English trailer which showed off more of the customizations and overworld Pokemon features, but did include some new stuff like new designs for the gym leaders Brock and Misty, and a new friendly rival along with the brand new hairstyle feature letting players customize Eevee and Pikachu's hair to fit their trainer's choices. I think that sounds so cool. Not much was shown from the Japanese trailer except for the return of Jesse and James from the Pokemon TV show. The Team Rocket duo made their first appearance in-game with Pokemon Yellow, but haven't been seen in any other games until now. Along with these trailers was a beautiful new map of the Kanto region done in a modern style adorned with the native Pokemon potentially hinting at where to find them. On the Pokemon Go side of things, it seems that 4th generation Pokemon will be joining the game soon, based on this 2 year anniversary photo that contains the 4th gen startups Piplup, Chimchar, and Turtwig, so expect to see them in the game soon. Speaking of updates happening soon, we got a release date for Enter the Gungeon Expansion Advanced Gungeons and Dragons, which is available for free this Thursday. Enter the Gungeon is a 2016 roguelike game in the vein of The Binding of Isaac, but with added bullet hell mechanics and tons and tons of guns, with Gungeons and Dragons adding a bunch more. I know I'll be prepared to enter the Gungeon all over again while I wait for Pokemon. More news on the ongoing disappointment of Silent Hill fans as the fan remake of Konami's PT receives a cease and desist from the developer. PT was a 2014 demo for Silent Hills, a game with the quadruple star power of Hideo Kojima, known for the Metal Gear franchise, and his best friend Shape of Water and Hellboy director Guillermo del Toro heading up the game, which starred Walking Dead actor Norman Reedus and had Japanese horror artist Junji Ito involved as well. And if this game sounds amazing, you're going to be disappointed, because it got canned by Konami after Kojima left the company in mid-2015 and told us to Get the lever. that. And while Kojima and Del Toro off having fun backpacking in Iceland with Norman Reedus and his stomach baby in Death Stranding, Game Jolt user Pimsar worked to remake the game for PC in the Unreal Engine and got pretty close until they received the cease and desist from Konami, seemingly putting a final nail in PT's coffin. There's some good news though as Kimsar was offered an internship at Konami for his efforts, and with Kojima going full Kojima with Death Stranding, things are looking up. That was some bad news for PT, but here's some games that you can play. Humble Monthly is a curated bundle of games sent to your inbox every month. 
Subscribe for $12 a month to immediately unlock A Hat in Time, The Escapist 2, and Conan Exiles with more to come. Build the Ultimate Game Library, every game is yours to keep, cancel any time. Link down in the description. Just one more story for you, and this one is fun. On Capcom's Japanese YouTube channel, the company continues its behind-the-scenes series for the upcoming long-anticipated new Mega Man game, Mega Man 11. In the video, viewers got to see game planner Masakazu Aguchi and sound director Ryo Yoshi dressed as robots to get a feel for the characters. Mega Man hasn't seen a new game since 2010's Mega Man 10 and only had cameo appearances since. But after the catastrophic release of spiritual successor Mighty No. 9 in 2016, it seems the Blue Bomber is making a comeback. Mega Man 11 was announced at the end of 2017, but recently got a trailer showing the game's new double gear mechanic, which gives Mega Man new abilities. This also falls in line with the new Mega Man animated series coming to Cartoon Network titled Mega Man Fully Charged, which also comes with a toy line from Jack Pacific, and is getting a panel at this year's San Diego Comic Con later this week. And we'll give you more details on Mega Man Fully Charged on the next show. Mega Man 11 launches later this year on the major consoles. Well, that ends this spin of the Weekly Wheel. As always, if you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us online for new updates. If there's something you'd like to see on the show, leave a comment below. See you guys next time.